So the pedal dip is going to happen when you really, really lean far to the side. And this is not how you turn. You don't turn by just shifting your body to the side. You turn and you twist. Right? So this whole, my entire body is straight up and I'm leaning to the side like a stick is going to require you to do a lot of leaning. Then you will get the pedal dip. Uh, my friend thinks that he gets it on his MSX and uh, I tried his MSX and I don't get pedal dip but now I know why because to get pedal dip you have to do stuff like this and that has happened to me a few times when I've been shopping and holding the handle and I want to turn and lean and then it dips and accelerates out away from me so I've had like you know two tiny tiny mishaps while I've been out shopping uh, and once again you know if you have an MSX and you haven't been riding it for a ton of time and blah 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 just ride it man and learn to ride learn to ride Blame yourself before you blame the wheel. We're not a bunch of narcissists, are we? And carving. You lean into the direction that you're turning, right? You lean and you point, lean and point, lean and point. And the leg that you are, is on the side that you are turning is the one that's going to be bearing the weight. And the leg that is going to be on the outside is the one that you're going to be offloading and usually going up to lifting your heel a tiny bit or moving weight to the ball of your foot, right? same as you would do on a longboard if you want to turn toe side you press your toes into that side you offload with the heels if you want to turn heel side you press your heels into that side and you move your body you know and if you want to turn a bit better here's a thought the, the full body gymnastic lockout you know is quite a thing as well as this braking method, this flattering braking method, you know, but come on, get with it. One wheelers can't take them anywhere. <laughs> 